Hello, uh, in this video we are asked to determine the magnitude and point of application of the equivalent point load uh, for this force shown here. Uh, so this is a parabolic curve, which means it's something times x squared. Uh, and we know out at 3 feet uh, it's 1800 pounds per foot. So the first step is going to be to determine the force function, uh, f of x, uh, that describes this curve here. So I know I've got um, f of x is going to be equal to um, some constant a times x squared. And if I'm careful, I can go ahead and determine uh, this is 0 and positive x is actually going to be going to the left right that, like that. So if I do that, if I define it that way, uh, my intercept is 0, so I just to solve for this one thing. Um, and what's going to let me do that is I know at at three feet out, uh, I've got 1,800 pounds per foot. Um, so f of x is going to be 1,800 equals a times 3 squared. Uh, and that gives me a is going to be equal to 200. So f of x is going to be equal to 200 x squared. And x again is going to the left. So, so we solve for f of x there. Uh, next thing we need to do is we need to uh, solve for the equivalent point load, or sorry, the magnitude of the equivalent point load. So it's going to be FEQ, and that's going to be equal to the integral uh, from over the range. So I'm going from 0 out to 3 feet. So the integral from 0 to 3. Uh, of 200x, that's my force function, or sorry, 200x squared, and I'm taking the integral with respect to x, so dx. All right, so if I take this integral, I find FEQ uh, evaluated from 0 to 3, uh, it's going to be 200 thirds times x cubed. Alright, so I can evaluate this uh, from 0 to 3. Uh, I'm going to take the value um, the value of this function at 3, subtract off the initial value, so the value at 0. So FEQ is going to be equal to 200 thirds times 3 cubed minus 200 thirds times 0 cubed. And so this one here, 0 cubed, is just 0. Um, so we have, we're going to have uh, simply uh, the value at 3. So FEQ, if I solve this out, this gives me a value of 1,800 pounds. Uh, it just happens to be kind of a coincidence that's the same as the, the force on the end there. Um, it's not always going to be the case. So next we need to find XEQ. So that's the location of the force. Uh, so for this, all right, XEQ is going to be the integral from 0 to the uh, zero to 3, so x min to x max, of uh, f of x, so 200x squared times x, dx. And that whole thing is going to be divided by the magnitude of our equivalent point load, so FEQ. All right. So taking this integral, I'm taking the integral from 0 to 3 of 200x cubed, uh, and that is going to um, turn out to be, the, or the evaluated integral is, um, so 200 over 4 is going to be 50 times x to the 4th. All right, so I can evaluate this from 0 to 3. Um, this is going to be 50 
times 3 to the 4th minus 50 times, oh, sorry, not 3, uh, times 0 to the 4th. Uh, so again, that's just 0. Uh, 50 times 3 to the 4th uh, gives me a value of um, 4,050. So four zero five zero. All right, and so I'm going to have x eq is going to be equal to that four zero five zero over my value for f eq, uh, which is this eighteen hundred pounds. So over eighteen hundred, and that gives me a value of two point two five feet. Um, so this is pounds, and this integral is going to result um, in put pounds. All right, so I had FEQ. It's the magnitude of my equivalent point load. I have XEQ. Um, last thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put that back on a diagram, draw out the equivalent point load. So I know, uh, again, FEQ was a force of 1,800 pounds. And XEQ was 2.25 feet. And that's going from uh, the same original zero. So zero is over here. I go this way by 2.25 feet. So All right, this single point load right here is statically equivalent to my original or my just original distributed force shown over here. So with that, we've solved our problem. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.